Hello, welcome to the Mark Janard Show, your home for hacking news and education. In this video, I'm going to cover the exclusive ways that hackers can hack your car and the little known ways to prevent these kinds of new attacks that these hackers are using. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Can a hacker stop your car or shut off your engine while you're driving 70 miles per hour on the freeway? Theoretically, yes. Wait a minute. They can do that and much more. These are just some of the ways hackers can access your vehicle's vulnerable systems and make driving difficult, dangerous, and uncomfortable for you. So here are the ways that these hackers can access and do damage. Number one, tire pressure monitoring systems. Tire pressure monitor monitoring systems tell drivers when their vehicle tires are too low or too high on pressure, offering helpful early warnings to get service. But when attacked, hackers can trigger warning lights and even remotely track vehicles through the monitoring systems. Number two, disabling brakes. You may control your brake pedal, but microprocessors in your on onboard computer really make your brakes work. Hackers can get into your onboard computer and can disable your brakes, even stop the engine. Number three, manipulating vehicle diagnostics. Repair shops and dealerships today largely rely on onboard vehicle diagnostics systems to perform initial diagnosis of problems. But unscrupulous shops can manipulate your diagnostic system to make it appear that you need to perform repairs that are not really needed. Number four, changing the time, a song on the radio, or GPS destination. With access to your vehicle systems, it's simple for hackers to make small but important changes to your vehicle. Some, something in unnerving as switching your radio station could happen. They can even get into your GPS system and change the destination you're headed to. Number five, MP3 malware. The music you listen to in, uh, in your car stereo could hack your vehicle really. Downloads with malware codes can get into your car's uh, information system and make their way into other systems, including those that control your engine or brakes. Number six, forced acceleration. Power locks today often have features such as automatic locking when the car is put into drive or reaches a certain speed. They can also unlock if the airbags have been deployed. Cars with interconnected systems like this are vulnerable to problems such as hackers using power locks to force a car to accelerate. Number seven, extended key fob range. Wireless key fobs today unlock the car doors when the person holding them is close by. However, using radio re uh, repeaters, thieves can extend the range of the key fob, unlocking your car doors when you are up to 30 feet away. Number eight, driving data downloads. Many vehicles, particularly those using GPS or telematic systems, record driving data. If hacked, this information could be used to exploit your privacy and even discover where you live, work, or take your kids to school. Number nine, smartphone access. Hackers may be less interested in your vehicle systems and more interested in your vehicle's connected mobile phone, which can give them access to credit card information, pass uh, passwords, and financial data. If they're able to get into your vehicle systems and find your connected mobile phone, your information may be at risk. Number 10, turning on heat in the summer or air conditioning in the winter. In extremely hot or cold climates, vehicle conditioning systems are less about comfort and more about safety. But they are just as vulnerable to hacks as any other systems. Hackers can blast hot air in the summer and even turn on seat warmers. Number 11, windshield wiper control. Windshield uh, cleaning fluid is useful, but not when it's released unexpectedly or continuously. Then it can be a danger to your visibility. This system, along with windshield wipers, can be hacked. Here are ways to protect yourself so you don't even have to worry about what I just said. Don't program your home address into GPS. It can be convenient, but uh, car thieves and hackers can use your GPS to find your home address. And if they are accessed to your garage door open or opener, they can get into more than just your car. They can even get into your home as well. Number two, limit wireless remote systems. Systems that disable or monitor your vehicle remotely place you at the most risk. While many other systems are hardwired into your vehicle's computer, wireless or remote systems are often controlled online and are more vulnerable and attractive to hackers. Number three, don't leave your password in your vehicle. That, that's, I mean, 
Hack, ha hacking can happen physically inside your vehicle as well. A car thief who finds your OnStar password, for example, can take over your account. That means the feature that allows you to remotely shut off your engine while um, when you report the vehicle stolen will be useless use reputable re reputable shops this is the next one anyone with physical access to your vehicle and hacking know-how can cause problems for your vehicle so when you're leaving your car at a shop whether for minutes hours or days you're taking a chance that someone can easily hack it and even make it appear that you need repairs that really aren't necessary they may also be able to get access to information such as your driving data history only use shops and dealerships that you know you can trust not to take advantage of your car's computer systems. Number five, don't download untrusted apps or use car's web browser. Your car's information system is unprotected and ripe for the pricking. Untrusted apps in your information system can introduce malware. You should never use the web browser on your vehicle either. Simply use your mobile phone instead while safely parked. Okay, did I miss anything? Please let me know your thoughts. Please hit the notification bell. Please hit the subscribe button. 